Okay, welcome back to to the tutorial here. Yeah. To create the mesh, let's go to the the mesh module in the Salome. The mesh module to create this the mesh, click the the geometry we are going to mesh and click 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 create mesh here. Yeah. So um because we use the simple a simple geometry which is a box we can manage to uh, create a hexahedral mesh as you can see here the number of segment is um we can say um no it, it can be different i prefer to use local length okay let's go to point one will happen save it and click the compute something wrong there oh I see so in this case we cannot use I think we cannot use the uh, go to the mapping let's go to another preference maybe 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 works oh it's still not working so we can create a mesh with a different solver we can use uh, gen 1 2 3 d this is this is simple one this is very instant approach so go on to the very fine and apply so this it may take a bit longer because this is tetrahedral in the next gen we are creating the tetrahedral mesh all oh, tetrahedral mesh so i think it's quite good um if you are going to refine it you can go to the clear mesh first and edit mesh here to the parameter and let's say we have to create more dense uh, mesh apply save it before calculation and wait <coughs> as you can see we are going to the, the the memory we use is not that much for this calculation sometimes if you do very dense uh, meshing it may explode the memory used it may explode Okay, good. We are creating one hundred thousand, one hundred and thirty-five thousand uh, tetrahedra. It's a bit good. It's quite good. Okay. So after this, we have to, you know, we have to create a patch. Create a patch for boundary condition. We can say this is the hot. Um, the hot boundary and, and this is the cold one and the other one the other the other boundary will be like this the other, the other face will be room boundary condition which is zero gradient and temperature so how do we do that we can go to the geometry module again and this uh, final uh, patch we can go to the new entity create a group the first group will be face group later we are going to volume group to create a different region so the first one is hot patch so this is the hot one as you can see apply go to the cold apply and go to the room you see you can see um, the room will be this, this, this one, this one, this one. You have to select everything except hot and cold, right? Add, apply and close. Let's take a look to the result. So is it correct? Um, I think it's correct. The, the room boundary and the cold boundary will be this 
hot boundary will be Z and if we go to all of them it will be looks like this okay that's good now we are going to create the volume that um, defines a different region in the in the in the volume here yeah? go on to the group and create group here yeah? go to the volume uh, the first group will be small one small solid let's name it small solid and click on the small solid edit and and close oh sorry I forget the the big one so go on again follow big solid name it okay and plan plus so the big solid and small solid so after that we can we are ready to go to the mesh module again so to create a patch into the final the open form format we have to create groups from geometry here and apply all of them so it is finished and now we can export the result into the UNV file um, let's put it on the UNV mesh um, uh, solid mesh I mean, solid mesh okay that's it that's how we create the mesh for the open form simulation in the next video we will learn how to create a folder case for the heat conduction uh, in with, with with uh, conjugated transfer solver in the open form. See you in the next video. Bye.